to my video on how to turn a normal USB cable into a brand new flash drive. Okay, let's get started. First, you want to clear your workspace of any random NES cartridges, such as Super Mario 3, or any floppy disks. Come on, people, they went out of date, like, in the 90s. Okay. First, we're going to need the be the most important part, the cable. Um, I am using the part with, like, the skinny part here, but that doesn't really matter. You can use any kind, even, like, a mouse or something, because all you need is the fat part, the part that goes near your computer, you know? So, next you'll need an X-Acto knife, or something of that persuasion. And kids, always remember, get parental advisory before using sharp, dangerous weapons of death. Okay, you're always going to need something hard to cut your wire on, such as Printmaster. Oh, my wire fell apart. But, obviously, you can also use stuff like that NES cartridge I showed you. Homer's Epics. Uh, let's see what else you could use. Tupperware. Um, CD players. Starcraft. Um, Game Boy Advance games. Okay, not really. But okay, you just need something that won't damage your kitchen table. Okay, I have already made the cut, as you probably figured out earlier, so that I could not waste time on my video. So, get rid of this part, save it for later, when you want to make your own sequel, which is how to turn a flash drive into a USB cable. Um, okay, get rid of Mr. Printmaster there. Now you just need this part. That part. Okay, na next, we just set that dude over to the side. Next, you need hard drive. I am personally using the Caviar 21600 AT Compatible Intelligent Drive by Western Digital. Of course, you can use any kind, as long as it is a memory device. Okay, you flip it over so that it's the fancy green side. Ooh, ah, uh, dude. Okay. Technical difficulties. Sorry. My camera fell. Now, let me just prop it up there. Gives you a good view of the hard drivey goodness. And, okay, take that part you cut. Hope you didn't cut your hand off. And then, take your awesome electrical tape. Black is the best, because that's the original electrical tape color. Then just cut yourself a decent amount of segment of tape. Okay, cut myself a segment. Now you just kind of tape that big plastic part down so that it's like that. And then the other place that you should tape the cord is, of course, where the cord ends uh, so that you have a good electrical current going. That's why you use electrical tape. Then you just flip it over and you have a flash drive. See? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I mean, try and plug it into your computer. It'll probably explode. Oh well. So you guys know, of course this wasn't real. I mean, a flash drive is definitely not part of a USB cable taped to a an old 1990s hard drive. So, don't give me any bad comments, okay? This is just made for fun, just to see if you guys thought it was funny. And, you guys should also make funny things like this. Just mutilating electronics and taping them together. Stuff like that. And post it as a video response. And I will give the best one a prize. I don't know what that prize is, but it'll probably be really good. Like, I don't know. Okay. Good night. This has been a Beast Pivot... Oh! Beast Pivot 280 production.